students welcome to drona edu my name is madhushri and i'm going to take for mathematics okay so today i'm going to take for class 6 the chapter 13 called symmetry now let's see the next topic which is figures with two lines of symmetry okay for that let me consider set squares so you know right set squares are okay so let me consider the two set square so which you see in your instrument box okay so let me consider the set square which is having a an angle measure of 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree so what i'll do i'll take the two set square okay which is identical okay and then i'll place them side by side okay so this is see if this is two set square here this is a line of symmetry and this two will be having a half right two half now if you see here can you say that how many line of symmetry are present in this diagram students okay so there is a kite now okay using the set square i just constructed the kite can you say how many line of symmetry are present here see if i fold one okay on the middle line there is a line of symmetry if i fold that i'm going to get as a one half is symmetric to another one right similarly if i fold again can i get it hmm can i get the line of symmetry again so let's see that is your homework okay now let's see the rectangle okay here what i'll do i'll take a rectangular sheet okay consider a postcard okay now i'll fold it once a length wise okay like one half now there is a line of symmetry now let me consider there is a horizontal line of symmetry now okay now after folding horizontally now i'll found vertically okay now another half would be asymmetric to the first half so again if i see here this rectangle is having how many line of symmetry total it is having two line of symmetry right yeah similarly let's see figure which is having more line of symmetries okay so what i'll do i'll take a, a piece of paper which is in the form of square i'll fold it into half okay let me fold vertically now if i fold vertically now there is a half there is a line of symmetry right one line of symmetry now what i'll do i'll fold into another half again that to horizontally now now if i fold horizontally now how much i'm getting i'm getting two line of symmetry now I'll open it okay now again i'll fold the square into the another half okay third time like diagonally okay now if i fold diagonally again i'll getting three line of symmetry now okay now again i'll open it okay again i'll fold it another diagonally four times okay first let's me consider the right side now it's from the left side now i'm getting how many four lines of symmetry right so after folding totally i'm getting a four lines of symmetry for this square whereas for rectangle i got two lines of symmetry we know one thing right for rectangle two sides are equal two opposite sides are equal for square all the sides are equal so how much we got four line of symmetry for rectangle i got two lines of symmetry so if i consider the equilateral triangle here three sides will be equal which means i'm going to get three lines of symmetry right similarly for the isosceles angle can you guess students how many line of symmetry even for the scale here also so let's see okay there will be some questions on this let's solve for that okay okay now if i consider the isosceles triangle only two sides would be equal out of three only one line of symmetry i can find after folding right the two lines it's impossible because only two sides are equal whereas if i take a scalar triangle all the sides are not equal which means there will be no line segment at all okay yeah now let's find how to construct the figure with two lines of symmetry starting from the small part let's construct the figure okay first what we'll do now let us find how the figure will be shown along a side any side okay now you can see you know there is a curves now we want to find or a better figure using this a small part right so what we have to do first let's construct the line of symmetry okay to this curve okay now i can construct two lines of symmetry one which is horizontal which is l which is another one is vertical which is m okay this two lines l and m are line of symmetry now the two lines is done now what i'll do see there is a curve right so this curve is on the 
lying on the M line as well as L line. So first what I'll do, I'll take a mirror image, okay, based on this L line, okay, which is a horizontal line. So I, if I take a mirror image for this part on the L line means I can draw like this, right? You can see, right? Yeah. Now the L line is done, which was a line of symmetry. Now let's consider the vertical line, which is M. Okay, now let's find this another half, another symmetrical half. So if I draw another symmetrical half to the line of symmetry M, you can complete one figure. It is, you can get a complete one figure, right? Okay, now in this figure, you can see the two line of symmetry, which is L and M, and complete one model. Okay, now if you see this symmetry, it's not only in the geometry or in the mathematics, the symmetry is everywhere. I can see symmetry, symmetry everywhere. Okay, see if I consider, okay, are many road signs. You can see, right? Uh, like straight, U turn, turn. Okay, so that signs, and you can see many other signs also. There will be hexagonal sign. So all these are the example for the this symmetry. Okay, they will be having a lines of symmetry in this. Not only here, even the nature has plenty of things which is having symmetry in the shapes. If you see in this examples, you can see that there is a crab, there is a leaf. So if I can draw the line of symmetry, I can find this object as a, I can see this animal or this thing, okay, that the leaves has a symmetry object, okay. Not only really that, even the starfish also. So all these are the example for symmetry. If you have any doubts regarding these topics, please do comment down. I'm going to give you a review. So let's discuss, okay? Until then, let's meet in next class. Bye-bye.